Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are enjoying your day. So, honey, we got to dish this tea on these celebrities, right? Uh, we have little fires burning everywhere, one big bonfire. Um, when it comes to a couple of celebrities that we're going to talk about this morning, the first person that we're going to talk about is Nesto, honey, and Shirley Strawberry. Well, Nesto has gotten indicted for 50... 51, at least 51 counts um, of criminal activity. Um, and it said that Nesto has been in trouble, honey, for everything from um, <laughs> bigamy to uh, racketeering slash RICO to robbery um, to car theft to auto parts theft um, to, to uh, uh, I mean, scamming people out of money. Um, him and his cohort, Angela King. Angela King is allegedly um throwing him under the bus. I mean, a Angela King, Erica King, slash Erica Holloway, when she's in her lawyer mode, right? So let's talk about that. Oh, and also, before we get to Erica King, Shirley Strawberry almost got in trouble her own self. So um, Erica King um is throwing, Erica King Hughley is throwing Nesto under the bus, right? She is throwing Nesto under the bus. She is saying Nesto coerced her, you know, or you know, like blackmailed or made her, you know, go out and 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 and, and you know, do all of these things that she was doing, all of these scams, right? Now, Erica King ain't no joke herself. She has played a lawyer. She is not a lawyer. She's played a priest. I mean, you know, a pastor. She's not a pastor. She's done done a whole lot. But every time Nesto get in trouble, he calls on Erica King. But Erica King, like I said, is throwing him under the bus. She is saying he coerced her. Um, I think that is that testimony is being allowed because when it comes to Ernesto, Ernesto is considered the bigger fish, right? So if she can throw him under the bus, then why not, right? So anyway, Shirley almost got um, you know, in, involved in this and almost got perjured, almost got into trouble herself because during the time of COVID, um, Erica, I mean, uh, uh, Shirley and Ernesto rented a home, right? So, uh, during the COVID also Shirley's, um, her earnings diminished. She said she was like making $8,000 a week. And before she was making uh, $8,000, I think they said a week, um, she told her landlord that she couldn't pay. Um, and he started put, uh, eviction proceedings on her, right? So Shirley um, did file for, um, you know, uh, 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 COVID relief. Um, the COVID relief people said that she wasn't making, she was making too much money. Um, to, you know, be able to apply for, um, receive benefits from COVID relief, you know, when they had the, uh, the, the halt on the rent payments, right? And so that, so the landlord was allowed to proceed, um, you know, uh, with, with evicting her, right? So meanwhile, behind Shirley's back, honey, Ernesto um, and uh, Erica King here went to court. Now, Erica posed as Ernesto and Shirley's lawyer. Um, they were they were wanting to halt to the eviction process via um, what's going on with the COVID rules. Uh, they're, they're not knowing that COVID, the only thing that, show, that saved Shirley was Shirley did apply um, and was turned down for COVID relief funds, you know, talking about her addiction, right? But anyway, Ernesto and Erica go to court. They want to counter sue the landlord. They wanted to counter sue the landlord. Not only did they want not to be evicted from the home, they wanted to counter sue the landlord for $60,000, $60, stating that Shirley had made several repairs to the home, right? So there, um, and, and uh, Erica, uh, Erica, uh, Erica, um, Erica Holloway, when she's, a, when she's in her scam mode, she's Erica Holloway. Erica goes to the court. She presents herself as a lawyer. She says she's representing Nesto as well as Shirley Strawberry. You know, the, the case, they lost the case and the eviction moved forward. And Shirley, Ernesto, or Shirley and Ernesto did later have to move out of the home, right? But the scam was that they wanted to um, recoup $60,000 from the landlord in the midst of them being evicted. And Shirley didn't know anything about this, right? 
And so Ernesto, moving forward, Ernesto has now been indicted on at least 51 charges. Um, because of the three strikes laws that is in effect in Georgia, Ernesto is facing uh, pretty much life. I don't think that, that Ernesto will see the light of day again. You know, his charges date back um, to 19, at least 1985. And like I said, he's been charged with scamming several people out of money, uh, uh, bigamy, uh, racketeering slash Rico, uh, just, just all kind of car thefts, property thefts, car park thefts, uh, uh, uh coach buses, thefts, and just child, anything. He, he is beyond sticky fingers. Okay. He got a sticky body. He feel like anything that he want, he don't want to pay for a child. He just wanna, he just wanna get it for free, right? At one point, one one of his charges, uh, come to think of it, as a matter of fact, is he got a car, put a car in a repair shop, you know, and allegedly went back, went to the car of the repair shop after the car was fixed, and took his keys, his other set of keys, and drove the car away from the repair shop. Without paying for the, without paying for the repairs, right? And so I'm like, oh my god! So he got charged for that also. And like I said, Erica King um, is saying that he coerced her, he made her do all of these things. And I'm, I'm thinking, my, my, my thinking on that is, you know, she flipped on Ernesto. Um, you know, she turned state evidence on him first, and now, you know, she's going to get time. But I'm guessing that she done made a plea deal, allegedly. I'm just saying this from me thinking, this is just me thinking, that she made a plea deal with the district attorney because they want Ernesto. They've been wanting him for a while. I'm telling you, when these people go on reality TV, it's a recipe for disaster. Because when you hit reality TV, we done seen it many times. Pretty much if you're doing anything wrong, you're going to get, you're you going to go to jail, right? Black or white, we done seen it with, uh, what is her name? Uh, Teresa Gideis and her husband, the lady that was scamming old people, um, the lady that had a sugar daddy, the old man lawyer. Uh, it's just so many of them, okay? But anyway, and so I wonder what Miss Sonya going to do about this. Is she going to support him via his, you know, possible life sentence, you know, because he's going to serve, have to serve, uh, he's going to be given time for each one of these 51 counts and so i'm thinking honey that's gonna add up to you ain't never getting out of jail right and so we're gonna have to see what happened y'all we're gonna see what happened but surely uh i believe sure miss shirley got out just in time uh i think that she even had to you know um you know give some testimony against him in order to stay out of trouble her own self because like i said she didn't know that uh erica and ernesto went to court uh, about this whole eviction thing. She didn't know anything about that. So I think that that saved her. Thank God she had a good lawyer. They are now divorced. And Ernesto, honey, I mean, you can charge it. Just, just charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it, charge it. Like you don't want to pay for nothing, but you can already pay for your crimes, child. Okay? But any, uh, anyway, y'all, we're going to have to wait and see uh, how much time Ernesto you know, gets. It's pretty much a done deal now. We're going to have to see if he's going to try to make a plea um a plea deal you know but it seemed like they got him dead to rights and so yeah he's just gone in my opinion right so anyway moving right along real quick the next person we want to talk about is miss sukiana so over the weekend reports came out that miss sukiana um was arrested for uh selling and uh for trying to sell and distribute um illegal substances and she is in a Broward County jail right now. I don't know if she has made bond, but at the time that this came out um, this past weekend, she had not made bond. And this is her this is her rap sheet. And she has, um, you know, uh, possession with intent to resale charges on here. Now, Suki Hanna said that she wasn't a musician. Musician. OK, she said that she's a mogul, honey. And so maybe she, you know, she lives in Florida, child, Florida, you know how that works. So since she's a mogul, maybe the, I, I thought she was just a, 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 what do you call those people? The the porn people over there on that website. And I knew she did rap, but I didn't knew she was a, 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 a booger sugar mule. Okay. So like I said, I don't know if she's uh, bonded out of jail or not. But she was arrest, uh, arrested, you know, for selling uh, 
you know, distributed, you know, selling with it, you know, possessing, you know, booger sugar uh, with the intent to resell, right? So we're going to have to see how that turns out for Miss Sukiana. Child, I know she got kids, but she, I guess this, the, it was, this was her, like, side job, you know, as opposed to that, um, I can't think of the name of that website. Y'all know what I'm talking about over the way they do that freaky stuff. Um, I can't think of the name. What's the name of that? Um, uh, child, I can't think of the name of the website, but y'all know what I'm talking about. She was over doing all that freaky stuff to men and all of this and all of that. Child, I'm like, ooh, girl, you already doing too much. Child. But she said she ain't no mu musician, honey. She a mogul. Okay, I wish I could think of the name of, but y'all put down in the comment section the name of that 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 website, um, uh, that social media site where they be doing all that 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 freaky deaky stuff. Okay, because Sukiana was big over there. Okay, I think she got noticed over there. Um, I really can't think of the name, but anyway, moving right along, we are gonna see how it works out with her charges. Now, real fast, I did a video the other day about Jeezy and Jenny Mai. I got a couple of comments under that video um, asking if I really believed um, all the charges that was launched against Jeezy. And my reply to that was, I believe the I believe, um, you know, the charges that have been proven. Right. What has been proven? Because Jenny Mai came out and pretty much said that he uh, physically abused her um, the whole time that they were married. You know, now, I, and he also, and she also made claims about him not caring about caring for his child. She uh, charged him with child neglect because he would leave firearms around the house and, and all of this and all that. And like I said, a couple of people in the comment section asked me, did I really believe it? And like I said, I absolutely believe what, you know, what she can prove. And so she has proof um, of, of some of these things. Now, uh, you know, she, she, she showed a video of her bruise. Um, when he when he wrecked the golf cart, she showed him apologizing for it. And not only that, the other day after this this surface, she um, released this, these leaked these videos of Jeezy walking around the house with a firearm. Why is he walking around his home where he has a child with a firearm? Now they say when he get intoxicated. You know, he gets really paranoid. Why is he so paranoid to the point to where he, what is going on in his life that he has to walk around his own home with a firearm, right? And Jenny Ma also said that he would just leave the firearms, you know, just laying around, you know, openly laying around. And she has a small child. She had, at the time, had a small child in the house. So he's, this is beyond toxic. So not only is he walking around, um, with a firearm in the house around the child, you know, while they were still together, he's also leaving a firearm laying around everywhere, you know? And I'm like, oh my God, what, this is a scary situation. So I don't know if he was drunk or uh, sober in these photos, but, and so, but uh, after she released these, because people were doubting, um, you know, the things that she said, because, you know, divorce, the divorce, the divorce, like I said, has gone, in my opinion, from messy to scary. And this is the one of the reasons why I said that. Um, but she has got photos to back up her claim, child. Now, if she can prove even more um, of this reckless behavior, I don't think Jeezy is going to be allowed um, to have unsupervised um, visitation with his babies. Uh, uh, you know, and I also... Uh, don't even think that I, I I really don't think that he cared. I think that he was suing for custody um, of his child because he wanted to get back at Jenny Mai. Right now, here's an example. This comes from the neighborhood talk of a photo that Jenny Mai released or leaked. It's in their bedroom, and the firearm, honey, is just laying on the floor. The baby could have played, came in there and start playing with the firearm. Now, remember Jenny Ma said that he would leave uh, a duffel bag, a Louis Vuitton duffel bag, you know, uh, around the house. Um, and she mentioned the dining room at one time in particular where she uh, he left the, the bag with the firearm in the bag and the baby was bent down trying to mess with whatever was in the bag, right? So uh, this photo came out and this is the firearm beside their bed. Okay, their baby lives there. What if they were asleep? You know how kids get up in the middle of the night I mean, she could have, you know, I mean, I'm like, oh my God, that is so scary. So to answer your question, once again, is if do I believe these claims? Yes, I believe what can be proven.
you know, and she keeps releasing more and more information on um, when it comes to the ab abuse and neglect of the child, the alleged abuse, I'm going to say that way, and the, the alleged neglect for the child. All of this is alleged, y'all. This whole video is alleged. I have to say that, right? Um, But, you know, pictures, you know, don't, I mean, come on now, really. This is actually him walking around his house with a firearm. I'm thinking, what? But you know what? When people have done so much in their life, I would imagine you would be paranoid. So ain't no telling what's really going on in his world for real. But, child, we're going to have to find out. We're going to have to wait and see. You know, I'm thinking, Jeezy, at the rate you're going, you could end up in jail. Not only divorced, but also in jail. Or right along with Nesto and Sukiana, right? So, um, I also want to talk about real fast, of course, the Diddler. Diddy is going around, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, saying that if if his people don't come to his defense, come to his defense, he's going to speaking out in favor of him. He's going to start spilling tea on them. Right. So he's upset because people um, are not his so-called friends are not coming forward to defend him. But, honey. Uh, who wants to defend him? People are walking away, you know, from him, trying to pull away back from him. Jay Z done walked away. He didn't even have the the uh, what do you call it, the Rock Nation, you know, weekend brunch thing this year. He didn't have that. Um, we know J Lo don't really want to say nothing at all about her time with Diddy, and we know that lady came out saying that J Lo passed Diddy the gun. Um, allegedly, when he shot, uh, and he when he allegedly shot her in the face at the nightclub, the crime that uh, that Shine, um, you know, took the fall for. Shine has pretty much come out and say, I didn't do this. I was a fall guy, and so they're saying that that investigation could allegedly be reopened. We don't know, um, and so, but anyway, he's 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 um threatening people. You know, because they said that, remember, they said that Diddy, uh, Diddy had cameras in his house. Um, He was a voyeur. Ain't no telling who he got proof of. But as long as he don't threaten the wrong people, which are those people like, uh, uh you know, those uh, those people like Lucian Grange, allegedly, and Clive Davis, as long as he don't threaten them, I'm guessing he, he won't end up like uh, Epstein. Or what allegedly Epstein, but I think Epstein, in my opinion, Epstein is on the island somewhere living it up. Okay, but anyway, that's just my opinion, right? So anyway, but I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion, right? So anyway, the only people that are defending him as of right now, Ray J is trying to defend him a little bit, but Ray J is even trying to walk away. But uh, uh, Stevie J, honey, Stevie J is acting like a bottom B up in his camp. I didn't even realize at the time that Stevie J had been um, detained in the Miami home um, and Diddy's Miami home when it was raided. I didn't know that Stevie J was there. Stevie J was the only one there. Y'all remember Justin and Christian were in his L.A. home when it got raided. But Stevie J, come to find out, was in the Miami home when it got raided. Right. And so also, did you get have you guys seen the TMZ documentary? On Tubi, honey, TMZ done released, uh, done released a Diddy documentary on Tubi, right? And I'm thinking, oh my God, and some of the things in there I hadn't heard, you know, they did a, a, a but, and also Stevie J, Stevie J was defending his boy Diddy even in the documentary, right? But there was a lot said. I watched about half of it. I might do a review on it, but I saw about, like I said, I saw about half of it, then I turned it off because I had to go, right? But uh, Diddy is now wanting his so-called expats to um, come to his defense, right? And nobody clearly is not wanting to come to his defense, but he say he's going to start spilling the beans on people. Uh, and I also think that, you know, we know that when he, his house got raided, they were mainly looking for electronics. I think that um, they were looking for those tapes that they know he's got. That's what I think, right? So we're going to have to see what that, you know, turns out to be. But anyway, y'all, that is all I got. Please like, share, and subscribe. And when you subscribe to the channel, please hit that like button. I mean, good Lord, please hit that notifications bell, right? And let me know what you think about all this, you know, in the comment section below. Do you think Ernesto is ever going to see the light of day again? Because I don't. Do you? When, when are they going to? When are? When do you think uh, they're going to 
convict Diddy or at least arrest him. Um, what do you think about Jeezy and Jenny Mai? Like I said, I believe what Jenny Mai has proven, what she's put out there. Pictures don't lie, okay? And so, I mean, like not the actual, I mean, photos can be proper, but when they're actually, you know, is, is camera footage of security footage of your home and things of that nature, um, that, that, that's, that's not a lie. And I don't have a choice but to believe that. Do I believe everything? I don't know. If it's not been proven, it's alleged and it's speculation. But like I said, I believe what's been proven, right? So anyway, that's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Thank you so much. I have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Peace.